from petroleum. It's also for the poor. They say if you remove it, the poor will benefit more. So, and, and, and not only that, please, if you are now saying that you, 50 billion, about 50 billion have been budgeted for subsidy in the power sector, I told you earlier, all, from all indicators, that money is not available. It's, it's not available or it's not in the budget? It, it's not. Whether it's in the budget or not, I am telling you that it is not. Because the country, whether we like it or not, is insolvent. All right, let me just stop you. Uh, Jerome is calling, joining us from Podakot. Jerome, good morning. Good morning, Benga. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Put the TV off. Can you hear me? We can't now. Hello? We can't hear you. Okay. I want to say that uh, the speaker is not, the, your, your guest there is not in tune with what is happening. Because if he has visited the power plants that the government is claiming to have built or they have built it, he will not see, he will not be saying all these things that he's saying. Especially in Port Harcourt and all the pl power plants that the government or the governor is building here, at least I have visited them. And as an engineer, I know they are working. Right now, the government says, give us this time to put the electricity in place. And this is what they intend to achieve by this time, and this is what they intend to achieve the next two years, and all that. Is they are making claims. Maybe I still feel that maybe it's, not, it's because he's no longer in government. That is why he's saying all this. I want to ask him, if those uh, 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 pools and all that that he said he, he bought for his people, how long did it take him for those pools or these transformers he bought to start working? In their place, those places he said he bought pools or he bought um, a transformer. transformer. Mm. How long did it take for those things to be working? I want him to answer. All right, Jerome. Thank you very you much. Answer, but let me also clarify what you said. You see, the truth of the matter is that what we are seeing in Port Harcourt is the effort of the River State Government. I wonder. It is the government of <laughs> Rotibi Amechi that is building on what uh, Sir Peter Odili started when he noticed that power is crucial. Uh, in whatever you do for the people, and it's building on it. All those power plants that you are seeing, that in LMA, in Trans Amadi, are all owned by the River State Government. And it's such a painful thing that whereas the state government, a state like Rivers, like Aquaibo, like uh, Delta, I think Bayesa mm. as well, have all invested in these power plants, the people of those states cannot feel the impact. Because whatever they are generating, they are pumping into the national grid, and very little or nothing comes back to the states, to those states, to the citizens of those states, uh, which is why you don't have 24-hour uh, 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 electricity like uh, Governor Michi has promised, like other governors have promised. Now, the new thing is that the federal government is trying to clear all the obstacles, such that these states too can also invest in transmission and distribution. Such that if River State, for example, generates like 400 megawatts, which is far and above what the entire uh, state needs, they'll be able to give all of you in Port Harcourt 24 hour, if not, if not, at least 18 hour constant power supply. Yeah, yeah, in but we are not able to have all of that because of some of the obstacles. Yeah, in addition that to, started, in, that in addition to that intellectual clear. disposition by uh, Benga, I want to inform and educate the feeble mind of Jerome. That no, please don't, don't treat. No, I don't. I, 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 well, I, I educate because okay. he doesn't. Yeah, uh, but uh, without necessarily uh, calling him names. No, no, there's no, uh, no name calling. I want to educate you. Just like Benga explained, Governor Fashola is generating power right now in Lagos. Isa Yuguda is generating power in um, Bauchi. This, um, it has nothing to do with the efforts of the federal government. And that is the reason why the IOC has now come in. The IOC is the international oil companies. Now, it is part of the indicator. They are trying to integrate them into national grid. But yeah, my question... Many of them have but, captive, but, my question but my question... Fine, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Now you are trying to integrate those people into um, the, the national... Uh, um, uh, yeah, so that they can release the excess they So that they can release the excess they have. But I also want to say that the, the cost of doing that has been built into this issue, uh, has been built into the new MITO2, which is the 25 Naira kilowatt per hour. It has been built into it. But the question to ask the Ministry of Power and the National Electricity Regulatory Agent, uh, Commission is that since you are building the IOCs now into this 
and building even some state government plants into this, the, especially for the IOC, what they are doing in their environment and in their milieu is part of the agreements they had with NNPC, ab initio. It's, it's part of the agreement they had with NNPC, ab initio. So now, my question is, where do you retire those costs? Is it in the Ministry of Power or in the Ministry of Petroleum? So you, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't you don't request that. And I want to ask you, 48 licenses have been issued. Plants have been asked to be built. I want to ask, that's why I asked the question. Yeah. They should tell me one that has been commissioned. They should tell me one that has been commissioned. None has been commissioned. And let me tell you, in the north today, you have uh, Kainji, you have Shiroro, you have Jeba. These three put together, there's a serious shortfall in the north. These three put together is providing, is, is, is right now providing one third of our electricity consumption. While EGMI alone is giving us one third. Government is not saying this is how we want to correct this disparity. So the question is tariff is merely one component the in, power, the, in the investor decision making matrix. Or the power sector reform. Or the power sector reform. It's just one component of an investor or, 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 or of the investor decision making matrix. So the government must actually withdraw from its cocoon and repent. And let Nigerians <laughs> be told the truth. Governments must stop lying to Nigerians because this government particularly is not a government of if. It's a government of if. You cannot hear anything without if. If, if, if. How can you ask Nigerians to pay for a service that is sick, a service that is epileptic, a service that is not available? It's not possible. Mm. Uh, uh, sorry, don't mind my language. It is usually ejaculation before conception. Not conception before ejaculation. All right. So government must, be, must become very serious-minded. Government must fight corruption in the power sector. Government must arrest and prosecute all those who have stolen our $13.2 billion. And government must not reinvest this money sincerely back into power. But you cannot ask Nigerians to come and pay 25 naira um, 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 kilowatt per hour when you have not provided any service. And this one, there's, how, how can I trust Naji? All right. How can I trust Jonathan? I when need, I government have you. lied and relied and relied and lied and relied. All right. Let's, let's just... End and we're going to fight it all <laughs> within the ambit of the law. All right. We are going to stop everything from working. All right. We'll stop. Government rescind their decision. Okay. But you can't stop us from ending this program here now. No, we can't. We, we have, oh, we okay. So let's... Let's, 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 let's I'm a rural poor. I'm sorry, urban poor. So, government has taken care of my interest. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Also, and uh, like I said, so many things are happening today. Mem uh, officials of the National Electricity Regulatory Commission are locked in a meeting with members of the National Assembly. Uh, we may just have issues arising from that. And for the fact that tomorrow is the day when the, all of this will crystallize. We don't know whether we may have to come back to this issue tomorrow when we come back. Okay, whatever happens, you will see us here tomorrow. My name is Ben Garuliba. Do have the best of the day. Thank you very much for making